Hey folks, my name is Ravish and welcome back to another video in the series of DevOps project. Okay, so you already know that this is the third project and the last time we were doing setup on Jenkins, we forget to do a few things. Alright, so in this video, we are going to install a few plugins that are needed in the future. So what we have to do, just make sure that your Jenkins is up and running. You can just refresh it out. Then what you have to do, go to manage Jenkins go down and then you have to do, go to manage plugins. Now, in order to understand what exactly is plugins, plugins is something that gives you an extra ability to do something. So if you go to the official website, which is this, you'll find managing plugins over here. All right. So if you read more about it, let me expand. Plugins are the primary means of enhancing the functionality of a Jenkins environment to suit organization or user specific needs. There are over a thousand different plugins which can be installed on Jenkins controller and to integrate various build tools, cloud provider, analysis tool and much more. So if you want, you can read more about this. We'll give you an example of what we are going to do today. Okay, so let's circle back to the update center. And then here we have to go to available. Make sure to click over here. And then there are a few plugins that we need to install. So first of all, we will type Maven integration. Okay, so this is the one at the time of recording of this video, we can see that 3.19 is the latest. Just click on it. Do not need to click on anywhere else or do not need to download now and start after you start. Just click on it. Now let's just remove this and type of another like GitHub because we're going to integrate with GitHub. So type GitHub and then integration. And you can see that GitHub integration is there at the time of recording of this video. It's 0.4.0. .0. Click on it and then do not click anywhere else. Now we are going to install everything at one go. So I'm just checking. So let's check Nexus integration. Now you won't find Nexus integration. Why? Because it is already installed if you will go to the previous video. So if I type Nexus, you can see that Net Nexus artifact uploader, uploader is already there. Let's go back to available. Now go to Sonar Cube scanner so sonar cube scanner is the one that we are going to use so let's just select it after that we are going to do slack notification so slack notification is something that we are going to do so just select it now make sure that you are doing slack notification right now because we are going to install slack later slack is another tool which i'm going to talk about later in this course now slack notification is another one oh i think the previous one got uh I think previous one got removed. So I'll just again add it again. You do not need to add it again. Okay, Maven integration. Let me reselect it. And then there was one more which we did was GitHub. Okay, GitHub integration. I think it's down. Perfect. Now what we'll do, we'll have to select a new one which is known as build timestamp. Okay, build timestamp. Let me scroll down, which is this. Now, what is build timestamp plugin? This plugin add build timestamp to Jenkins variable and system properties. This, so we are going to add a timestamp to the artifact that we are going to put to the artifactory, which we'll have. And then Sonar Cube is for the code quality analysis. This plugin allows easy integration of Sonar Cube, which I've already done. And then Maven integration because we are using a Java project. GitHub integration because we are going to do it with GitHub. And then the build time sim. So I think all of these are done. All right. So there are two things install without restart and download now and install after restart. So what we'll do is install without restart. So let it happen. And depending on your internet speed, it's going to take time. All right. So what I'll just do is I'll just fast forward the video. Okay, so you can see that this is successful. This is successful. This is successful. And it is showing an error for JUnit, which is JUnit plugin is already installed. Jenkins needs to be restarted for the update to take effect. This is perfectly all right. And we have failure for Maven integration. It is saying that input output exception failed to load Maven integration plugin. This and this because update is required for 1.6.3, which is this one. All right. So this is completely OK. And then Sonar's Cube Scanner. This is successful. This is successful. GitHub integration and login plugin and extension is perfectly all right. Now we are going to fix this. So just remember that we are going to fix Maven integration. Now what can happen in your system, in your Jenkins, it can 
it can be installed in the first go so do not worry about it but if you face some kind of this error all you have to do you just have to restart it first and then we just have to update it G unit but it is saying that needs to be restarted for the update to take effect all right so what I'll do I'll just click on restart Jenkins and let it take some time to restart all right I'll just fast forward the video okay so it has restarted let's log in into it go to manage Jenkins and then just scroll scroll down and then just you have to go to manage plugins after that go to installed and then check for maven integration and you can see that maven integration 3.19 is installed okay so it has installed after the restart and then just check the j unit and this is the j unit plugin it is showing showing 1.63 over here so if you click over here on this plugin it will open this for you and then if you have to go to releases then you can check this is the latest one over here there are a few others like 1.19 this and this 1.63 four months ago this and this you can externally update it but uh, i'm not recommending that as of now all right so i think uh, everything is done over here and you do not need to do anything just go back to your dashboard and we'll start working on that all right so these are the plugins needed for this project and uh, if there is anything that you need to understand if there is anything that you want me to lay more emphasis on feel free to comment below in this under this video and if you're new over here kindly subscribe to the channel because it really supports me to create more content like this all right so i will see you in the next one